Jennifer Stone? D- David. Jennifer Stone. Oh, oh, Jennifer oh, Stone. Oh, 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 welcome yeah. back. Welcome David back, Delaware. sir. Thank you so much. I love, that, I love that we feel the need to say both of our names at the beginning of... Well, I, lo- I just love saying your name. No. It's, it's good great. to see you. How are you? I'm good. How are you, hon? Oh. How's Tony? Tony's good. Yulia's good. That's my wife, oh, Yulia. Yulia's the best. When I met Yulia, she's German, and when I met her, you know, in, in English, her name is Julia, mm-hmm. but in Germany, her name is Yulia. So her name is Yulia. And, and in, in Spanish, it's Julia. So I said, what's your name? She goes, you can call me Julia. Which is very sweet of her. But then I said, yeah. I want to call you by your name, yeah. Yulia. And Everybody in the world has such a problem saying Yulia, which is just so bizarre. I, to me. I think just because it's so foreign. Because to me, that's uh, to me, I think the same thing. But you like being called Jennifer, not yeah. Jen. No, I, Jen. Not Jen. My friends call me Jen. Jenny is the one that I'm like, hell no. Because oh, Jenny, shit, I've been calling you Jennifer. <laughs> But Jennifer's Jen, fine. But I'm your friend, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, good. Jennifer's fine. Jen's fine. Jenny to me is uh, some bitch with like pom poms and like, you oh, know, she's bitch. very peppy. I'm not that peppy. <laughs> Despite, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, she's just like Harper. I, I'm I'm tired. I'm not that are, peppy. Well, okay, what parts of you yeah. are like Harper? I do get very excited about things that most people are like, that's weird. Um, so I played that up. You know, so I turned up the volume on that. What's one thing that's weird that you like that you don't think other people like? Um, I love like medical oddities. Like I love that. Like I, one of my favorite things I love telling people, and this will freak everybody out, um, is I love like Victorian medicine. So like different like dis- like diseases and how they would treat them. See, you're already okay, like glazing yeah, no, over. Weird. Already, yeah, totally. I, by the way, for those for those listening at home, I, you David just gave me the biggest shifty eyes and the biggest I like did. oh well, hell what is no. It, what, you said Victorian medical oddities. Correct? Yeah. So, but well, not even medical oddities at the time. It was just how they were trying to figure out how to take care of things. You know. So problem solving. Medical problem solving medical. when they didn't have the knowledge that we have now. So it was right. just fascinating of how like. You know, I'm not going to get into it because it's going to put everyone to sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally. It's going to put everyone to sleep. No, but I like that. It's interesting because a lot of people say, well, you know, what's the similarity between you and, and your characters yeah. or between you and Jerry Russo, you mm-hmm. know, and I'm, you know, I like a deal. Yeah, well, who doesn't? You know, and I, I like a, a this whole, food. This whole 20% off business is a joke. Oh. That's not a deal. <sighs> it's, so it's 40 funny. or plus or bust, nothing. Exactly. Yes. All right, so we're talking about the third episode that was aired. Mm-hmm. Maybe not the third episode that we was shot. filmed. Yeah, which is called. The, I think it was the fourth one we shot. Yeah, I think so. How do you remember that? I don't. I'm pulling that out of my ass. I don't okay. know that for sure. All right, what else is in there? Okay, so <laughs> I, I almost kid. drowned so, in a chocolate fountain. Is what it's called. Yes. What do you remember about this episode? Because I, no, I, I blacked out. Not a thing. <laughs> I was unconscious. It was a weekend at Bernie's situation. They propped me up and I did it. No, I remember watching you with the like pocket elf yeah. contraption. What are we going to call this? The like pocket, the pocket elf, elf egg. That's what it looked like. Right. The egg, it was an egg. It comes out of the portal. Yeah. Uh, or the wizarding world. And I, the, and I, the, wizard, I the caught wizarding. It. The wizarding, the wizarding, wizarding of where we place. Wizarding. wizarding. There it is. There it is. Mm, okay. Disney. Mm. Oh my god. But the wizarding world. I just can't say it. It's I hard. catch it. I would, and there's an egg. I would always say the show with all the W's because I would during interviews I'd always mess it up with the W's. The show yes. with the W's. So okay, it would shoot out of the thing. And the I egg. caught it. It was. I actually laughed really hard when I saw it again. I I flipped the switch. Yeah. I turn around and I catch the thing. I got a catcher's mask on. It's just so. Silly, but I love you know? how much you enjoy your own. I bits. committed. You committed, and I love that. But there was some, there was a bit that I remember watching in rehearsal and loving it so much. And this was again one of those moments where I was like, "This man in physical comedy is ridiculous." You you had the egg, and nothing was in it, but you're so literally sitting there going, "Oh yeah, like, no, it's the box. I put him in the box when I put the chocolate yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm I'm the box is like moving, but I'm making the box move. Yes. And and thank you for that. But in rewatching it. Um, I saw something that I'm, I'm, I think I say everyone exit with an, in an orderly fashion Yeah. and the box is supposed to make me jump. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I went down and then up. What I um, should have done is, is let the box move. Um, 
so I fucked it up. <laughs> well, I didn't notice that at all. That's one of those actor things that you notice, but nobody else does. Right. You know what I mean? I, Which is an actor killer, yeah. but like. And there's actually something else in this particular episode because, um, well, I'll get to that in a second. But the, You're like, the, let me air all of my sins. Well, but here's the thing that I find very funny is, you know, you're on Disney and it's a very, Disney is very particular. But I remember um, the first like gathering, a meeting, everybody. It was at the Grove, at an Italian restaurant. Yeah, Maggiano's. Yes, Maggiano's. Yeah. And I sat next to someone. I didn't know who it was. Yeah. And I was like, you know, the reason why I'm doing this uh, show is because uh, all the parents get to direct. So I uh, I think I'm going to try to You said that to, to someone? I said this oh to someone. God. I was sitting next to the executive who was in charge of the show and I had no idea who was not my favorite person, had a terrible laugh and was not very nice. But I'm <laughs> sitting there going, I want to direct to him, yeah, you know, yeah. which is a big reason. And I ended sure. up directing yeah. seven episodes and uh, other TV shows, which was such a great experience. I think everyone in this business should do everyone else's job. Well, because it gives you like such a better perspective. Of exactly. And an you appreciation. Know? I mean. One just how the flow of how it works. Yes. And, it's so important. Yeah. But one of the things to which was interesting and I th think made our show very unique is uh, Alex is bragging about failing her math test <laughs> yeah. so that she can be with this guy because she yeah. wants to, but it's interesting because, you know, Disney wants to be like the role model for yeah, how you be, are like, and cookie stuff. cutter and, and yeah. there's a lot of pressure that went along with that. But I think that the a big credit to our, our, our showrunner, Peter Marietta, that he was like, no, this is funny. No, we don't have to say, let's do good in school. Yeah. You know? But I think, I, I think it wasn't let's do good in school. I think it was like, hey, let's represent a different kind of person because it wasn't that like. From my vantage point, it wasn't that, oh, she's a bad student. It's like, hey, maybe she's just somebody that learns a little different. Right. And she you know is, what I mean? She does say she's doing it on purpose. Yeah. Right? Like, it was something to me that it's like, I really appreciated the fact that Alex wasn't, she wasn't like, she was kind of this like anti-hero in a way, yeah. which was great. Because yeah. Disney hadn't really had that. And I, and, I, and I loved that because it wasn't this, to me, it was so much more relatable to have somebody that wasn't so held to high esteem and held on this like, you know, high shelf of- I'm not you know. perfect. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that took a lot of the pressure off, I yeah. think, for people. Um, yeah. It, so she's trying to fail. She's so trying to fail a test so she can go- with this guy, Riley. Yeah. Who happens to be my oldest daughter's name, which was very odd for me. Man <laughs> named Riley. But yeah. he was, he was uh, uh, how old was he? He was 23, which is so funny because I, Rewatching this, I was like, oh, he was in his 30s. He had to be so, because I, of course, like I did with all the guys on the show, had a massive crush on him for the week and then forgot about him by the next <laughs> week. Um, yeah, but uh, but no, because I was, we were like 14 at the time, but no, he was 23. He was 23, that's but from 14 to 23, yeah, that that's why I thought he was like 32. Cause Think about this. At my age at 23, I had a two-year-old. That blows my mind. Isn't that that's crazy? Crazy. Yeah. Um, I wonder what he's doing now. I Do you know him? Do no, you? I don't know uh. him. I don't know him. I ran into him. This was years ago. So, I mean, this is probably not even remotely what he's doing now. But I ran into him at Trader Joe's. Really? Like, maybe five, eight years after the show. I was like, oh, my God, hey. Because he was always kind of like a granola-y dude, and, I remember. And was he still acting and stuff? I have no idea. He was too nice. He was very nice. He was a, he was that, but even it came through in, in, yeah. in acting, he was so sweet was, and nice, Yeah, totally, you know? totally. And and and, I, and something else too that I, I just, I don't know why, I like I remember the Harper-Justin thing being a thing, but even like rewatching this episode, like the whole thing where like she gets all like clammy and yeah. like all that kind of stuff. I just, I, I guess I'd forgotten like how much they played the like Harper just, losing her mind about, about about Justin. Yeah, it was interesting. I liked that I aspect. Liked that, yeah, I liked that storyline But then too. it turned, uh, but later down the road, it turned to, uh, to Dan to Benson, yeah. to Zeke. Yeah. yeah, but behind the scenes, you know, David, who I love, but at the, like sometimes would drive me nuts. So, so yeah, yeah. So like sometimes with the script, I'm like, I hate this, this is gross. But, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, but like I said, we were all teenagers at the yeah, time. So. We all have similar things yeah. in that regard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you feel about, because I know the effects were not 
The special effects <laughs> back then, I thought they were great. So I, I had right? to At pluck the time, this little, great. you know, he's what a five, six inches, yeah. the, the, the pocket elf yeah. that has a plethora of knowledge about different subjects. Sure. There's different pocket elves, yet we have the internet. We have the Google. So what's the point? You know, in the wizarding world, it just was a we're little... Not gonna talk, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it. Uh, uh, like semantics or yeah right? um but when i when i picked them up or you know you have to pretend to pick them up and you don't want to look at your fingers you want to look a little below yeah and, but the way they they uh, animated like, and, and and this is not a dig on the special effects people no, doing I think it. they did the best with the time yes. frame because they were quick turnarounds but very quick turnarounds and but it, it didn't look great you know what i mean no. like it but um but i think also too i've heard from people and correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard from people that's kind of the charm of the show now. Oh, that it that it's that it's so, not great. Uh, yeah, you okay. know what I mean. Like that it's kind of the charm of the show. Like you know when you go back and you watch like '80s movies, yeah. and you see like the pixelation around like right. stuff. Like it's kind of the charm of it's it. It's part of it. Yes. Okay. Yes. And like what's so amazing now is uh, uh, it being on Disney Plus. I don't know about you, but so many people are coming up to me yeah. again, and I mean, I get recognized, you oh know. My God. But like now, it's a lot. No, more. there was there was a distinct difference between because there was a lull after the show had ended and was off the air for a while, and then when Disney Plus came out, it was like it was back to when the show was on. Yeah, well, I mean, um, I think the movie got the second highest ratings over high school musical and we got like 12 million yeah. views or something viewers yeah and now with, with disney plus you get 50 million yeah. people watching well, it's like it. it's so funny because like those numbers that we had then we did we did really well and 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 if correct me if i'm wrong but like i remember we always just grew we never because most shows like they grow initially and then they have a lull and then they might pick up back up and right. it's this constant like up and down kind of thing but i remember like we just continued to do well um, but and those numbers we weren't are on not, NBC, CBS, no. whatever's. You know, we weren't on the the network. We were on a cable, a cable. show, yeah. cable uh, uh, network that that you know, not a lot of people yeah, were had exactly. You know, but yeah, it's it's interesting that you know those numbers that were big then with streaming are like exponentially different, right? You know um, what I mean. So when Maria starts to want to teach selena spanish yeah. because she's not uh, uh she's failing it you yeah. know i mean but now that contradicts uh, uh what i was saying earlier because she was choosing to not do well in spanish but yet in the show she wasn't able to but speak wasn't, spanish. It, wasn't it something where where if she didn't pass the test she couldn't go like she wanted on to it, fail but it, like uh, she wanted to fail so that she could she didn't be have to with study the, and no, like, she wanted to fail so she could be with him. Yeah. But then because she got busted for failing. Then she had to pass. Then she had to pass in order to, to go. go on the date. Okay. And then that's why she got I remember the pocket got, like, elf flipped around. to help her. Right. Yeah, I got like flipped around where she originally was like, oh, I'm going to fail. So I'm going to go. Oh and then, God, you know. These stories are so convoluted. They're so, right? oh my God, they're so complicated. But I just remember uh, uh, Maria and Selena and she's working with her on yeah. the thing. And she goes, what is this? You know, and she. El well, well, she <laughs> motions to a lamp and she goes, Lampada? Yeah, Lampada, and she's like, you can't just put abada at the end. Yeah, it's yeah. not Spanish. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. So, I mean, it's been what, fifteen years since we did the show, but I still look at a lamp and say, "Isn't it Lampada? funny?" Like the stuff that sticks. Yeah, you know what I mean. The stuff that that really sticks. And I, and I remember, like, she and I have a picture of her. Like, I'm I've changed after this was after like the taping because I think we did that chocolate where she does like the chocolate eating it and like the slide and everything. Right. I think we did that in front of the live audience. I think so too. I think it was a swing set. It was. And a swing set by the way. Oh my god. Here for we people go. who don't know. Here there's we go. a sitcom normally has your traditional like your living room set, your well, the, the, classroom. The apartment, the, Tribeca and the substation. Right, exactly. And, and then behind the, the street. Right. We had it we had our set next to the substation in the back was where you would enter the substation mm -hmm. and so that was the, the outside. But this was a, a swing set is what they call it. Which was not where swings are, but where you have a new set. Oh, thanks, Jen. You're welcome. <laughs> um, okay, wait. Um, but I remember her, like, specifically, like, her, she so went for it. And I also remember, so that, that chandelier, you remember the one that, like, Amanda Tepe, who was, like, always, like, the security guard, or, like, worked at, like, the, you know. At the Girk Barn. The, the Girk Barn, yeah. And she was the, the waitress she was the at wait the... Mm -hmm. 
at the restaurant where yeah. they go where the chocolate is. Um, yeah. So like it was. Was she the? I can't remember if she was the waitress or not. Maybe she wasn't. Because in was this, a, yeah, she was. Uh, um, how many? And they're like oh, seven right. or eight. And then that's you're right. like, if ba- if Cindy comes and does this, and and she then, then so and so is not going to come. And this, she's like. Uh, table for 11, seven or eight, follow me. She was me. always so deadpan, which yeah. I loved. Well, and then, and then there was also, too, like that line that you were talking about that you loved of the guy that was like, oh. Oh, yeah. So so yeah. Selena tells on uh, David and Jake, mm-hmm. and so they go to get revenge, and yeah. they go to the restaurant, and, and the, the waiter is like, can I help you? And they said, our, our sister, we're trying to get revenge. And all he says is, I have a sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's great. Which is so funny. I it's love it. Uh, and then he pushes them. Uh, somehow the entire restaurant doesn't, doesn't see, see two kids go underneath a dolly cart that's being pushed <laughs> well, that's, all around. That's the beauty of Disney. We just look the other way. We uh, don't see it. There's a little bit in there where they put the chocolate in the purse to get yeah. the, because if the chocolate was elf. eaten by the chocolate elf, mm-hmm. no, by the by the pocket by elf, the chocolate elf. Then, then it goes crazy and that's yeah. what they're trying to do. Well, the, they put the chocolate in the purse and it gets shot out and every time, three times in the same thing, yeah. Jake catches it and then puts it back in. So I'm not sure exactly how they launched it out of there because, you know, there was not a real pocket no, in the purse. No, but that What? <laughs> You're kidding. No, because I think there was, I remember like Jill or one of our like props people, they're cutting like a hole in the bottom of the purse and having some kind of hydraulic. Oh, really? Maybe. I think that, I remember there being a hole at the bottom of the purse and them doing some kind of thing where they would, or maybe they just threw it out. I don't know. But I, like- I, it was very interesting. It's possible but it was a that practical it was, effect. That it was because they were inside underneath the, yeah. the table. They, they could have been lifted up and somebody could have been even Yeah, it. it was some kind of practical effect that I remember. Because right. I always love a practical effect. I Hold remember. on. Let me use my wand, which is also a wand and also a back scratcher. Oh, my God. And your back has been I'm so... I'm scratching my your back. Your back has been so itchy today. It is. I, I need to get you back. one of those. There's an area. There's one area on my back. Do I want to hear about this area? No, no, it's just... It's not bad. It just is I need... There's a there's one zone where I can't reach, and that's where I always need to Do you to have, scratch. like, eczema on this area? No, there's no eczema. Is it I'm, just you I'm, can't just can't reach it? I just can't reach it. It's, it's just so weird. Is that because your shoulder or just because... Well, my shoulders aren't great. Okay. Mainly because at the Emmys, when we won the Emmy, and I went up there and I shattered my collarbone. Because well, you had to do a pratfall. I did a pratfall. I, listen, there's the stage, right? And the reason why I did is because everybody's like, you have to run, you have to rush to the stage. You only get 45 seconds. Yeah, and that I, was... I was like, if I win, I'm going to run <laughs> down there and do a do a pratfall, yeah. which I do. And if anybody's which, curious, yeah. you can put in David DeLuise fall, slips and falls, and you can see me slip and fall without breaking my collarbone. So, yeah, because they cut it out. So but, for, for people to have a frame of reference, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little, little, little background. I'm going to okay. do a little exposition. Um, the first time we won an Emmy, which sounds – the first time. Yeah. Um, no, but the first time Wizards won an Emmy um, – the, the creative arts Emmys. The creative we arts Emmys, yeah. yeah. So the, the stage was made of marble, and they only give you, like Deluise was saying, they only give you so much time to go up to stage, and like the speech is like very quick. And and so Deluise ran up and did a pratfall where he did like a tuck and roll yes, a on tuck this and marble roll. stage. And I landed completely yeah. perpendicular on my collarbone and, and, and your, shattered it. And your shoulder was yes. like this. And, and, but yeah. what, the reason why I didn't do it is because I launched myself from the first step not from the actual stage. Oh. So I eliminated about six inches of of the uh, you yeah. know a, a yeah, space. Yeah. And I didn't like go, oh no, I'm no, you, you I stood there and every fucking person hugged me. Oh my God, we're so happy. And on stage and I just stood there. And you're like, oh. And then I went backstage and I said to our, our line producer, Greg yeah. Hampson, I said, I think I just broke my shoulder. And he goes, are you joking? And then yeah, because sometimes it's hard to tell with you. Sweat just per, you went down. Yeah, because I'm sure the adrenaline like, oh, stopped. Like I started turned, like I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it like, ran out. And then I went to the emergency room <laughs> where the emergency doctor looked at my X-ray and I'm not kidding. Went oh fuck. <laughs> And that was because you know usually when you break a collarbone, you probably have seen these. Yeah, in the you, ER. you, it's a clean it's, break. It's, yeah, it's clean break. Yeah, mine shattered into like eight well, different you pieces. Beat it against marble. 
Yeah. You know? Because I just remember looking up and we were all so excited. And then I was like, wait, where's Deluise? We're going to go do interviews and stuff. And you were, he's at the hospital and with a shower. And any of the pictures, I you know, know, with the thing. But you were the, there the next year, the yeah. next time. Yeah. And now you can't scratch your back. <laughs> Full circle. Full circle. Okay. So there was a part in this episode where Selena tells on Jake and David that they had a paintball fight on the yeah. on the terrace. Yes. And I go to open the curtain and 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 rewatching it, I was like I opened the curtain yeah. like I knew already. But then yeah. I watched it again and 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 if anybody rewatches the episode, I actually do look at it for the first time for a second, but they cut so fast that when I look back at them, I'm like, "See, look at this." When this you is know? the hard part too, I feel like being it's so it's so hard being an actor. <laughs> um no, but like but this is I mean this is the thing that you kind of just have to get over yourself. Um, as an actor is like, it's hard to not break like break apart your performance, right? And be like, oh, I wish they hadn't edited there. Or like, mm. I wish that I had done this. Cause it's done, right? Like you can't do anything about it. Cause it's so easy. And especially watching this back, like there'll be little like things like that for me too, where like I'll watch it back and be like, oh, I pressed this too hard. I needed to ease up on that. Yeah. I didn't like do this well. Like, you know what I mean? Like you just pick it apart. And, and, and it becomes a thing where it's just like, but, you know what's the purpose right because it's like you can't go back you can't no, change I it i agree and it's I, definitely I just, only you notice i don't know, you know i guess i guess it's it's there's you know an actor is very well, you're an actor you can't help it we all do it yeah exactly yeah. but but um I, I i try to give myself cut myself a little slack yeah. um but one of the other things that i noticed was and i forgot is in the loft there's the spiral staircase up to the top mm -hmm. and then the spiral staircase down yeah. where it, it didn't go all the way down. No. Once we, once you went down like three you stairs, stuck. you had to not only get stuck, but you had to kind of duck out of the scene. Yeah. And then if you were entering the the scene midway, you had to stand up there. Uh -huh. Sometimes, I don't know, I fall asleep. I'm totally, waiting so long. Totally. You know? I know. I remember it because mine was more, mine was less in the loft. I did it sometimes in the loft, but it was more so in the substation. Because, you know, Harper always came down and being like, hey, guys, you know, or whatever. Right. Um, so, like, I would always be, like, waiting at the top of that staircase. Like, either me and Selena or just me or whatever, you know, um, or, or outside, which it was easier outside the substation, but up that staircase. And it's not brain surgery, but it's hard to time because you had to yeah. know exactly how when long to it took you to get yeah, exactly and to be quiet because right. the stairs rattled and made noise. I, I think I think it's I, really hard. I told them it's very it's hard very being an hard. actor. I think I told them to put like a, a felt and then or, they went uh -huh, and ignored you. No, I think they did, did because they? the sound was like, "Can you be quiet or can you go down it was quieter?" Like impossible. I'm like, put something they on were the metal fucking stairs. stairs. Yeah, I think yeah. they did. Did you say it like that? Where they were put something on the fucking stairs? And they were like, "Fuck you." Thing, you know yeah okay so i could be wrong about this mm -hmm. but i think that um after the episode mm -hmm. she, selena was you know she had to eat all that she chocolate. Is so i chocolate. got nauseous it was a lot and she committed and that was a long sequence yes and she was pouring the chocolate yeah. thing, and she even swam in the fucking chocolate yeah and then later, it was on that dirty set floor she i believe she said to me that she was allergic to chocolate and i was like what the, why didn't you just tell them you know i don't know uh if i i, I have to ask her again i don't I'm not know sure. i remember her eating a lot of chocolate so i don't know if I don't know how much. I, I don't think that that's you true. You know what? Maybe she just had a reaction. Maybe because it was like so ton. much. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was just like. I mean, I've eaten chocolate, but not that much. No, because it was a lot, and yeah. we did like, and because one take was a lot of chocolate. Right. You know. So she's going on a date in mm -hmm. the show. Yeah. And I ask her, or I get all bummed out, like, oh. Darn it, you passed the test, so now I have to have the birds and the bees conversation, yeah. you know. And I'm sitting down with her, and I'm like, now you're going on a date. So she's like, oh, it's not a it's not a date. I'm you know, Billy and Bobby and so, whoever she names. Like no, you, names. she said it wasn't a date. She said it was a date, and then you were like, that's not a date. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So I said, that's what you consider a date? And then you she know? laughed, and you were like, that's not a date. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm asking you, what do you technically consider a date? I'm really old fashioned. That's a great question. I'm I'm very, I wasn't always, I, I had that notion of like, oh, I'm the cool girl, I don't care. I, fuck that, I'm over it. Like it, it doesn't do anything for me. So I am very old fashioned. To me, it's a guy 
saying, hey, can I take you out? Picking me up, doing that like whole old school kind of thing. I hate the whole like, let's hang out. I hate that. Hang out like just two of you or hang out like group wise? No, even hanging out just two of us. Because to me, let's hang out is so non-committal. So let's hang out technically now has become Netflix and chill. Totally. Or it's like, let's date. But here's the thing is like, it's such an easy out for the other person. Because like if you want it to be a date or if if you think it's a date and the other person doesn't want it to be or like halfway through they chicken out, they're like, oh, we were just hanging out. It wasn't a date. Uh, you know what I mean? Sounds like a really stupid guy. There's a lot of really <laughs> stupid. There's a lot of really stupid people. You know what I mean? So like that's my thing is like I I want somebody that you know knows what they want and knows how to ask for it and of course. you know what I mean. So and that to me is a date. It's someone who can ask for it and opens the door. Absolutely. And does none of things. none of this. I've had a lot of exes that have done this where they lean over and they open the door. Yeah, that's like the there's a Robert De Niro movie. I hate that. The, what? No. It's a bad thing. When you're sitting in the front seat. If I'm in the front seat and, you're in the and front I go seat, to open the door for you, that's not a good your, thing? Get your ass out of the car. You're literally oh. leaning over and just going like this? Yeah. Come no, on. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Let you me, see what I'm let saying? Let me clarify. Okay. Of course, I open the door. I am I a gentleman. I have no doubt. I have no uh, doubt. 100%. I'm talking about like you're in the car and she, uh, uh, it, it, maybe not the first date, but there's a move, the Bronx Tale. That's what it's from, a Bronx okay. Tale, where the, the 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 whole thing about like, does he go over and actually help? I mean, it's it's you with nothing or trying. Are while you talking you're in getting the car out open. of the car or getting in the car? No, I'm talking about getting in the car. Listen, we're gonna have to watch a Bronx Tale, and I'm then we're gonna have to talk about. Oh, it's because isn't that the one that's like four freaking hours, and it's no. just like a bunch of old dudes? No, that's that's uh, 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 Once Upon a Time in America. No. Because Bronx Tale's the one with De Niro and like Pacino and no, which one? Which one am I thinking of? Well, that's Heat. No, this is a recent one where like they're older. This this one I'm talking about mm-hmm. is a long time ago. I'm gonna look okay. it up. I'm gonna find the scene right, and I'm gonna me. send it to you. Because to me, like I, I yeah. Okay, to so me, on the same come subject. To the door. Come to the door, open the door, don't, something don't like that. Don't get me wrong. I'm, by the way, everyone who's just listening, no. my face is, of course I agree no. with you, Jennifer. Well, and I'm not, I'm, I'm saying in general, poor David is being projected at by me. I recognize that. <laughs> Yulia <laughs> is a very lucky lady. You treat her very well. I'm and very, she treats you very well. I'm so. very lucky is what is happening. But yeah, so so what is your idea of a of date? Of a date? Yeah. So like when you and the door, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, but when you and Yulia do like date night, what does that look like? Uh, we take Tony to... Of course. Uh, well, Tony's uh, got to be involved. Yeah, Tony is my dog, by the way. He's a, a very adorable um, mini dachshund. Yeah, he's and we, we the take best. him. We just had a date, actually. Yeah, We, we took, took him to... Doggy uh, daycare. A, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went to a very nice restaurant, and we saw a movie, which was What'd the you see? menu. Oh, how was that? It I really was, wanted to see It was see very that. interesting. I felt it was very... Uh, um, you have to see it, and then we can talk about okay. it. Okay. Uh, that is hugely unhelpful. <laughs> <laughs> you are not selling this movie to me at all. But thank you. But we had time. A date for me and Yulia now is just something without Tony. You yeah. know what I mean? Where it's just us and we're paying. When I, I don't know if the, your cats do this or, you know, when you're in a relationship and you kiss your boyfriend, yeah. do your cats come up? Because my Tony comes yeah. up and is like, hey, what do you do? I mean, he barks, well, he I doesn't mean, talk. But he says, what are you doing? What are you they, doing? Look at me. So, no, it's not so much that because they're not so protective of me because they're just waiting for me to die so they can eat my face. <laughs> but, um, no, more what it is is I have one cat that's just a slut. Oh, my God. Like, she literally, like, doesn't want to cuddle with me. But, like, new people, especially dudes, she just wants to sit in their lap. Mm. So I can't even get to the kissing part because they're she's already sitting in their lap. Wow. So she's just, like, just cock blocking me already and I really I'm don't so appreciate sorry. it. Yeah, well it's my fault. I adopted her <laughs> and saved her life and this is how she repays me. It's very nice. Uh, but That's really funny. What's your favorite chocolate treat? Uh, Rolos. Rolos? We actually just bought some recently. Yulia used to, my wife, mm-hmm. she doesn't eat the chocolate. She stops the chocolate. Good like it's a thing, yeah. right? And but then, is she like a salty person? But no, I feel she like she likes salty. salty. But but well, she had a thing where she. I hope she's okay with me talking about this. Oh, she was like, I'm not going to eat chocolate anymore. I'm not okay. going to open that that Pandora's well, good box because it is. And then I'm around now. And you I'm just putting shoot me, it to shit. And then I'm well, I'm eating some chocolate. So we I opened that door for her. So so you're Pandora. Yeah. No no joke. Every time we finish dinner, I'm like, chocolate. You know what I mean? She's like. 
No, she likes the chocolate. Yeah. She wants it. So we we bought Rolos recently, and had but, she had those before she came to the yes, state? and they were one of her favorite things. Really? And when I was a kid, it was one of my favorite Aww, things. Oh, I love that. That's really sweet. Well, I, I love those kind of like linking things when with like when you find your person. You know what I mean? Like I love those like linking things that you're like. I would have never thought There's those like little things. There's a lot of very similar things that we have in our lives that have come together. The one thing so that happy. I do really like is that she did not know wizards at all. She was not. Oh, isn't it great? Yeah, she she hadn't seen it. But this is a funny story. When we started to date, she you know we, we, she lived in Berlin, and I lived in in California. So we would talk you know through FaceTime and stuff. Yeah. She was at her friend's house. And we were FaceTiming and I was meeting her friend and her friend's daughter walked by and saw that it was the dad from Wizards of Waverly Place, you know, and 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 she said to her mom, is that, Aww. you know, Yulia's dating, uh, you know, Jerry Russo? She, she got and she cool said, points. yeah. And she said, God, Yulia must have done something right. <laughs> How, what did she think about that? She thought it was funny. That's you really know. cute. Uh, That's really, really cute. Do you remember the first time you got recognized from the show? Yeah, I, I remember there was like a, because I mean, there was like little stuff here and there, but there was like one really distinct thing where we all went to New York to, for to that sign, press junket. Yeah. For the, that like big press junket. And that's where, because it was like little stuff here and there. Um, but then that was where it was like that switch got flipped where I was like, oh, this is different. This That was where we did like. Well, people lined up in the rain. Or it whatever, was crazy. Right? And that, yeah. I don't mean to interrupt you. No, you're fine. But that was the whole thing where everybody lined up and we couldn't get to everybody because it was like we were there for two hours. Yeah. And there were people that were waiting in the rain. Yeah. And then I remember. And I'm like. We went over to Selena's house yeah. and we said, we're so sorry we couldn't get to the people in the yeah. rain. And then yeah, we, we posted. Yeah, we did the We hosed yeah. ourselves and we put it on the on, on the, the, on, on, on the YouTubes. Well, on, yeah, it was on YouTube because <laughs> yeah. there was no um, social media no, back that, then. And that was something that was so special as well. And I'm so thankful that we were like the tail end of like Twitter just came out with the show. Um, Instagram was the tail. Excuse me. The tail. Instagram came out the tail end of the show. Yeah. There was no TikTok. There was no, I mean, Facebook existed, but like there was no social media thing really. I it was an, brand new. I did an episode of Sam Rubin who's a, a, a entertainment reporter for Channel 5. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was me and like three other comics. And uh, we, they were talking. He was, uh, what, do you, what do you think about this Twitter thing? You know, 142 yeah. characters. Crazy? You can write something. And one of the, the comic guys was like, oh, yeah, I want to know. I'm taking a walk or I'm taking a shit. Like, who cares? And then I said to them, I said, well, if, if someone releases something, uh, you know, I said the kids on my show have a lot of followers. So yeah. if they have a book coming out or a song or something, they can uh, uh, say, you check it out to uh, you know, 100,000 people, which yeah. is not a lot There's nothing now. now. Yeah. And they all time. were like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, you yeah. know, the reason why I got on Twitter was because my dad had just passed away and someone was pretending to be me. There was oh, no blue shit. check marks or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so well, now there's an issue with oh, blue check geez, marks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to stay on there or not. But um, I mean, I really mainly use uh, Instagram rather yeah. than uh, Twitter. But the but at the time, somebody was impersonating. pretending to be me. And I mean, how fucked up is that? There was a lot was, of like pretending, yeah. and and I was like, okay, I'm going to do do this and. David Henry helped me create an account because I don't yeah, know how to do it. Yeah. And and I, David DeLuise was taken. So I did D underscore yeah, DeLuise. Yeah. Yeah. And then I interacted with you guys so, they could so see that people could see. And then I was like, this is a fake account, you know? So that was really fucked up though. Yeah, Someone but there was pretending, but, but there talking was, about my dad and stuff. Yeah, you know? no, there was, but there was a lot. That was something that I remember even at the time. Like I remember there was stuff with, with Twitter because I, I was like, you know, going through puberty and like, you know, Selena and I just had different shapes. And, and there were people on there that were just really, because it was the first yeah. time of like people being anonymous and being able to basically just like say anything into the void with no consequence, right? right, right. So there was a lot of people being like, you're fat, go kill yourself. Like I got a lot of that shit. Yeah, it's so and up. it's so fucked up. And so now I laugh at it. 
But when you're 14, 15, 16, like, that's really hard. Well, listen, when I was growing up, you had like a couple of bullies at sure. school, and then when you left school, you were done. You know, you were done with that, yeah. and 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 you had to then even relay that information yeah. to other people. Like this happened, and and it being on such a grand scale now, yeah, it it really I, it caused a lot of problems. Well, you and know? there like and there was stuff too where it just makes you think of how much you know people are hurting and because they're hurting, they wanna hurt other people. And somebody told me, and this was like the most helpful advice, but it was later. So it was like having to like, you know, cause I was a perfectionist and I've really had to like work on, you know, and I, and I had like eating disorders in the past and like, whatever, I won't yeah. get into that. But like, so to hear that stuff, trying to get out of that was really hard at that time. So, so but somebody said to me, you can't believe the good stuff if you don't believe the bad stuff. Exactly. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to take all of it with a grain of salt, right. which is healthy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because then you don't get too big of an ego and you don't think you, you know, walk on water or whatever. But it, it, it's something too that for me with social media, like sure, when people say nice things, it's it's lovely, it's really sweet. But I can't take that to heart because if I take that to heart, I got to take to heart when people are like, there was one that made me laugh the other day. Where someone's like, your cat's ugly. I wish it would die. And I'm like, my cat? You're coming after my cat? All right. You know what I mean? I think that's a very good perspective. And I think that's very helpful for a lot of people. The, the, what you're saying about yeah. you have to take it all with a grain it's of salt. It's hard, though. It's easier said than done. And it reminded me of the, I don't know if it's Jimmy Fallon or whatever, but they have celebrities sitting down reading. Yeah, the mean tweets. The mean tweets. What's the, what's the meanest tweet you've ever gotten? Do you remember? Go fuck yourself. I don't know. Um <laughs> I know sometimes, I'm like, sometimes really I'm like, get creative. Yeah, I'm like, well, you can do better. I, 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 I don't really read uh, the. Good. I, I, I it's can't a waste tell of you. time. Yeah, I can't tell you. And there, you know, it's, I'm, I'm 50 year, 51 years old. Yeah. I know it's very hard to keep track. It changes every year. Well, you know. But the, I've never really been critiqued. Of all in all of the stuff that I've done, I don't think there was a thing that said David Deloise is Jerry Russo did the thing, you know, yeah. like. One time I did the uh, Christina Applegate show called yeah. Jesse, mm -hmm. and they they said like her kooky brother David Deloise playing the kooky brother, uh, you know Darren I think my name was, and that was it. I've never really had been critiqued, you know. Well, that's so, great for uh, you, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm but, sure there's no, a lot of shit out there. No, that but also too like if, stuff, if you, you have because you've always I feel like correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like you've always had a healthy relationship of like separating yourself from it you know what i mean of like you've kind of always put it in its place well i haven't been in that 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 zone that yeah. where where this you know i've had bullies i've had people sure. be mean to me at school and stuff and um oh, well, i'm so depressed now <laughs> no but I, everybody's had that but i think it's i think it's a different because I, I feel i feel cyber like, bully i feel like i feel like with person like bullies in person i feel like you have some leg to defend yourself you have some, granted, not always, because there's a lot of elements involved in that. But when it's a stranger in the dark, what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Like, you can kind of do a tit for tat, but that's not really going to do anything because they can just disappear or whatever. Like, it's a whole, it's just a waste of time I and did energy. A, you know? I did a movie called Bachelor Man, which had a great line. It said, yeah. never argue with an idiot because they'll drag you down to their level and sure. then beat you with experience. Mm, I like that. That's yeah. good. Did you have that line? Yeah, it was my line. And that's why you remember it? Yeah. You don't was, remember anything else about the movie? Oh, I remember a lot. <laughs> my friend John Putch directed it, and it was my first big lead part in the movie, and I remember auditioning for it. it, it this was during pilot season mm -hmm. when, uh, I'm sure you've experienced this, Many sometimes times. pilot season, by the way, is a certain time in the year where they... Um, start doing and casting all the pilots mm -hmm. and if you're in demand which is streaming doesn't really exist anymore yeah, it doesn't really Kinda. exactly um i don't know i haven't had an audition in a little <laughs> while so but i had three auditions in one day and one of them was the lead of this movie and i was like fuck it i'm just gonna go in there and yeah I'm, but I'm sometimes really, it's the best because you don't I put got that the part yeah. you know and missy pile was in it she was the um a love interest she was great she's from galaxy yeah. quest and yeah yeah no she's things. hilarious yeah. she's really funny but no sometimes that's the best some of like the best auditions i've done was like you had three in a row you're exhausted and you're like well i'm just gonna go in there well, and it's hard because they give you 
the whole part. There's mm-hmm. no like do this scene. They're and like then here's we'll make ten judgment. pages. Yeah. Well, I started calling my friends who, who were in the business in my same category. Yeah. And I said, did you audition for this? Yes. Which scene did they have you do? Because they'd have you memorize three scenes. And they'd have you do either the first or the second scene. And then if you did a good job, they would have you do more. Yeah. So I would find out which scene they would start with. I would work on that one. Yeah. And really put all my energy into one scene. And then I did that one time. And they were like, okay, do the other scene. I was like, You're oh, like, fuck, well, I don't know it. I well, like, that one was good. <laughs> I got to go outside. The rest of them are shit. But, but I did. And it, that show was called Play Dates. And I actually okay. booked that. Um, okay. But. David Allen Bache, who uh, was on it, and it was a good job. Yeah. It was a good job. Have you done a an audition that you really wanted to get that didn't? Oh, that so didn't, many. Yeah. So many. Um, there was a bunch. I also have a really hard time, and I've gotten over this in recent years, but when I was younger, I had a hard time when I got really excited about something, kind of like self-sabotaging. Mm. Really? Where I where I would, and it wasn't intentional, but I would get so excited about something that I would overwork it, and I would just like, I wouldn't let it be. I wouldn't let it breathe. I wouldn't put in the work and then let it go. I would hold on way too tightly, which as an actor, for me, like you can't hold on that tightly. You got to do the homework and let it go. Right. Um. So yeah, I mean, there's there was, um, the Runaways I auditioned for which I really wanted. Lovely Bones I auditioned for, which I really wanted. You, Walking Dead was one of them. because uh, And talk about like what a great group of actors and just like an ensemble of just like people that worked together and there wasn't like one standout. It was all about each other trying to move in the same direction, right. you know? Kind of like us on Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know, you had said Wizards is an ensemble. I, I did not know that really 100%. Did you not feel that show. way? Oh, well, no. I mean, all, if you look at all the other Disney shows yeah. prior to ours, yeah. it was about the kids yeah. and the parents would do the, don't do that. Yeah. And then at the end, I told you so kind of thing. Or or Kim from um, Zach and Cody. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, or Mr. Mosley or whatever. You know, they were, the, they were kind the, of the wagging finger. Yes. Yeah. The, the wagging finger. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I'll do that. And I, I really... What did you? How did you say it? Uh, you you either do it for the money, for the friends that you're gonna, the people you're gonna yeah, work with, the people with, you're gonna work with, or, or the character. The part. Yeah. Um, well, I I wizards. I guess it could be the money and the part. And I didn't know that I was gonna have all three, yeah. which is make it the friends. Well, no, and, and and that's what because to me, and that was what's so special about like you and and Maria on the show is like you became part of the hijinks, for lack of a better term. You know what I mean? Rather yeah. than just being the wagging finger. You exactly. Know what I mean? Except for what I would You were the voice the... of reason. Sure. Right. But in the fourth season, it changed. We became well, an A, yeah. B, and C plot show. And yes, I stopped I, getting I, to work I, with I you guys. That. It was like me that. and me and Maria doing something. Yeah. And then, you know, we, we didn't get to interact yeah. anymore. Which no. was, obviously, you were part of the family your last name was not russo yeah but you were you know you we were all a family and that's why i think the show was so great is because we had that uh, uh ensemble yeah you know yeah no i agree and, and and that was something too that like the fourth season and once we get like more towards rewatching those episodes we'll talk about like kind of what shifted in the fourth season Do we have to <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> yes um, well, this episode was great, and it made me never want to eat chocolate again. I, I mean, I could still have it, but I really love chocolate. So <laughs> I'm going to go have hot chocolate when I get home. Okay, good. Salted caramel hot chocolate. Oh, my God. That sounds okay. Listen, let's do. You want to wrap it up? Ball. You yeah, want to wrap it up? Gonna, with, you I'm do gonna, one, and I'll do one, and then we'll we'll okay. call it a day because I have a life, Deloise. I have things to do. Okay, listen, I'm very busy too. Jennifer you're, you're very important. I have to put my glasses yeah, on. You're one of two glasses. Stand by. What was your favorite thing about your character? Oh, that's a good question. That's a great question. I'm put that back in there. <laughs> oh, that's that's a Deloise approved question. Um, my favorite thing about Harper. Oh, there were so many things to love. Um, one of my favorite things about my character is. To me, she was the kind of friend you hope for. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. To me, she's the kind of friend that like... You would she die hard. Would die hard. She would always be there for you. She would always through thick and thin. Like, she doesn't let you get away with anything. Like, she called Alex on her stuff. Yeah. But like, she, she would always be there. 
and that was a beautiful thing to me. She was she wasn't a doormat, but she she was unconditionally loyal. loving your yeah. friend. Yeah, and that was something that I really love. Okay, my turn. Yeah. Give me give me this. I haven't done this yet. Okay, do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so funny. It's a wand, everybody. Uh, it's so nice because it's wizards and we have wands and stuff. I think they get it. I think they get that. All right, I'm ready. Do you ever feel envious? Yes, but now I have to say of something, right? You don't have to. You can do it. What's, you what's want. your definition of envy? Envious is wanting something that you can't have or isn't yours. Watch all the Webster's people are going to be like, no, it's not. <laughs> do I, what do I want to do? to be in size 30 jeans (laughs) (laughs) um my first thought was uh uh, to have this is odd to say but jack black i get envious because i think a lot of people uh, have said to me you're like jack black yeah i can see that you know and i had auditioned for um the the John Cusack, the yeah. r- r- um, records. Yeah, the, I know which one you're talking about. And and I didn't get it, and he got it, and he is so talented. And you know what it is about him? Mm. He's free, and he doesn't give a fuck. So I'm envious of Jack Black not giving a fuck. See, it's so funny to hear you say that, because I've always thought you were so That free. I don't give a fuck? Well, yeah. I'm working on it, Jen. Well, we all are. Act accordingly. All right. Are you ready to watch the next episode for the next episode? Yes, I am. But I have to go home and eat food first. Okay. I have to, I'm, I have human needs, sir. Well, And okay. you do too. You all have right. to, we have to go home. We have to be people. And then we'll watch the next episode. Jen Stone, I heart you. And I can't wait to see you oh, again. I heart you too. Goodbye. High five. <laughs> You guys, thank you so much for being here. And if you want some bonus content, join our Patreon. Love you.